Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the current trade that I and many members are also in with me and this is because we had a CCV setup, a absolutely wonderful high probability setup come to us last night, uh, so I want to be going over that, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely trade. And then I also want to be covering, uh, to start with, uh, you know, how we are looking at this, the range that we are currently in, and also the higher term time frame, you know, range that we are also in. So ranges upon ranges, really, really nice, um, you know, steadily making money off these charts. Brilliant to see. So let's start off with, uh, before I go over the current trade that we are in, I want to go over onto the bigger picture. Really, really simply, you all know we have been going from the highs to the lows of this overall big range, okay? After rejecting from that high last time, we spent a lot of time at these lows, okay? And myself, I was playing it cautious at these lows, very cautious uh, to the long side. And uh, we can see that we, you know, the reason why we got this, the, we got this rise was the swing failure pattern, okay? So pretty easy if we're honest. Swing failure pattern of those lows, rise, okay? spending time again once again at that sort of SR level it's just insane okay insane let's go down onto a lower term time frame so you can really just see how perfect it is okay you've done the swing fire of that low you came back up to our old channel resistance you you broke through that hold it as support support you come back up to your monthly okay so pretty easy trading where you know it's pretty easy trading and then from that monthly okay this is where you're interested in well I, I guess myself anyway I'm interested in short positions because it's like the first time that you test this level Okay, it's also like the high of the range. So if you're looking at this as its overall range as well, so you could say that you're also range bound somewhat between here, aren't you? So when you come back up to here, you're looking for that trade. But what's really, really, really nice about this is the like the, the, there's just so much confluence and so much probability. So what I, I bang on about it every single video that I make, like you really only want to take the most highest probability trades. Why take a trade? Firstly, why take a trade in the heat at the moment, heat at the moment, like market buying? I can guarantee people lost money last night trying to buy these highs. It's just like ridiculously bad idea. And you need to get out of that habit if you actually want to make money. Uh, as well as people, um, you know, probably just, well, I guess maybe they didn't even identify the range. Although this one's quite an easy one. I, I, I would say it's quite easy one to recognize. But nevertheless, uh, you know, what you want to be doing is trading the range until it breaks. And, and as well as that, you have the probabilities of a CCV setup here. You also have the, you know, high probabilities of hitting the monthly and then you're also taking the liquidity and you even ended last night with the swing failure pattern. And this is where it all came together. Um, so these are the positions that uh, me and my team are in at the moment. So you can see everybody with really, really, really similar entry prices all around this 3,300. Have a guess. Have a, you, can, you can tell why. You know, we've all got these really, really similar entries. This is my particular one. But, um, you know, I'll show you now on this screen. Uh, you can see this was this was literally taken last night. Okay, so last night's trade, um, you know, in a, at the moment around $700 profit just while asleep. So waking up $700 profit into the books. Obviously, that's that's really nice. Um, and then so this this all comes under the fact that so it's no coincidence. <laughs> I hope I pronounced that right. It's no coincidence that uh, we all have the really, really similar entries because we're all trading the same setup. And this is this is what you really want to strive towards. Okay, so you really want to strive towards as a trader um, to only take these high probability steps. So so when you have recognised a setup that has a statistical edge that works time and time and time and time and time again. Obviously, this is eighty percent probabilities. This uh, CCV. So when you have these sort of steps, it's it's like you take them. You you take them without almost thinking, okay? Obviously, you can review the chart. You can make sure that you have, like, confluences, of course, and you can make sure the context is right because we had to, uh, you know, you don't just randomly take these trades. You have to review the context, and obviously the context here is we're swing firing, taking the, the liquidities of the highs, and it's at the monthly, and it's at the top of the range. So you, you have definitely have the context within this one. So when all of this is lining together, I, I would say you're, you're, you're talking about, like, 95% that you're going to get this trade. And obviously, hasn't quite hit my target at the moment, so I'm waiting for a little bit lower. But nevertheless, uh, you could be in this position now, have a stop loss in profit if you wanted to. And, you know, you've made money, whatever happens, I would say. Uh, but yeah, th this is like the, the, the setups, the, what you're waiting for. And then really, really simply for you in this video, trade the range. Okay, so there, there's the range from the monthly. And, you know, I've, I, it's not like I've just randomly made up this monthly. This is the same level that I've been giving you for the past, uh, I don't know, coming on two months. So this is an insanely good level. And you can see here how it originally was support. You know, you had your drop down to that channel, the higher of the lower channel back up to test the monthly. You all know that we were taking these shorts from the highs, coming back up, coming back down, coming back up. And now obviously 
I mean, do you get this partial decline before another move back up? Again, this is what you're looking at in the moment, reviewing what's happening and making informed trading decisions. And it's all about the informed trading decisions, you know? You got to be very much on the ball, reacting to what's happening. Uh, unless, unless of course you're a swing trader, and if you're a swing trader right now, you probably don't care what's happening down on down on the wall, on the on the 15 minute chart. Let's be honest, but. Um, <clears throat> You know, this is the great thing, though, because these sort of setups, these sort of theories, they work equally well for scalp traders and they work equally well for swing traders. So people that have full time jobs that don't want to be managing it all day, you know, they, these setups are you know, absolutely, uh, you know, really, really viable. You know, you come up to these high term time frame resistance with, with confluence and, uh, you know, it's just like one of those things that you got to you got to you got to really put your money where your mouth is and, and take those sort of trades. So, I mean. Yeah, that that's uh, that's what I'm trading from at the moment. And then obviously on the smaller term time frame, I, I'd really say, well, it's kind of pretty easy. It's kind of just really staring you in the face, isn't it? I mean, still this this channel, okay? You can see it's not been like totally perfect, but it, at, at the same time, it has been totally perfect. There's just been so many trades off of it. It's like just unreal. Uh, so you can see that still remains like our mid term time frame support that 9065 and clearly that resistance of the monthly still 9339 so you know that that's kind of like a technical analysis view of this like you're identifying your local support and resistances and then you're looking for trades naturally off those local support and resistances if you break resistances so let's say you know this is you know it's possible that this is the low as we're speaking right now and if that's the case, then you can be reacting as prices coming back up, taking profits, um, you know, switching into longs, for example. And if you break those resistances, well, then naturally you're looking up to do your next higher levels. OK, same as if you break support, you can be looking down to your next lower levels of support. So it's not like uh, we're saying, oh, this is 100 percent guaranteed, like this is definitely going to happen. Uh, no, that's not what we're doing. We are, uh, you know, we're not we're not that naive as traders. We are just trading the probabilities and we then are just taking the highest probability trades, you know. Um, so, um, you know, that that's kind of. That, that's the that's where you want to strive towards I, I think as a trader you don't want to be getting you know I, I think the, the one of the main problems with people in trading is that they're, they're they generally lose money because they're actually so scared of losing money they just keep losing money you know think about it. how many times have you lost money because you've, you've you've just given yourself such a tight really small stop loss and you know it's generally because you're so scared of losing that trade you just keep losing that trade so like the emotional impact of trading is really really big but then to get rid of that emotional strain of trading it is obviously it's it's kind of easy for me to say it because i, I i'm you know i've been doing this for a long time but nevertheless um i do think it's in my my my, my uh, humble opinion uh it's it's a good way to remove that emotional aspect of actually just trading the charts trading the highest probability setups um you know it it is naturally going to remove the emotions because if, if you can see statistics and you see something that works time and time again then you know obviously there's there's that chance that you could still lose the setup but if you i guess if you can prove to yourself or not just just yeah i guess if you can prove to yourself that this setup works then you know you, you don't have these emotions in within that trade you just are taking a trade you're winning or, or occasionally losing and um you know, you just keep on, keep on going. And, um, you know, that's what I guess, yeah, easier said than done from my part, I suppose. But for all those that are striving to learn, then, you know, that's kind of my recommendation. Uh, you need to um, stop just randomly taking trades, really articulate a plan and think about every trade uh, before you take it. Okay, so if you've been marketing, buying at the tops here, you you got to say to yourself, like, what was your plan there? Like, like really, what was your plan? Why are you not trading? You know, if you if you're a subscriber of this channel for the last few years, you know we trade the range until it breaks. Um, so you got to think to yourself, like, what were you trying to do there? Uh, not to say that it couldn't have broke up, but the probabilities were obviously unlikely to to see that. So, um. Obviously, what I mean, what I mean by this though is also this morning you have seen the UK market pulling back. Okay, so if you come down to a lower term time frame, you can see the UK market was pulling back. You can see the ES was pulling back. So this obviously adds strength to thinking Bitcoin was also going to pull back this morning. So uh, obviously, if this now starts to curve back up, as well as the UK market starts to curve back up, well then you can actually see Bitcoin starting to curve back up. So again, we're always looking at the you know we're not just just because we've entered a short doesn't mean we're going to hold on to the short for the whole day. We're continuously looking for reasons to take profit early potentially or switch that position if, if necessary um i'm not in that position to switch it at the moment uh everything's going well and i guess i'll end with this obviously be because the twitter's banned i've been doing a lot more posts over on instagram um so inside of the story oh you can't view it here you have to you have to sign in but yeah inside of the story 
over at uh, Instagram, I've been uploading, uh, you know, pictures of the trays that I've been taking, little updates throughout the day. So I recommend, um, that's just instagram.com forward slash chart champions, that you, if you're interested in what we're doing for in the day, because obviously I no longer have Twitter, then you can come across, follow that account if, if it's of any interest to you <laughs> um, <clears throat> of what, what we're doing in the day. I, I suppose if you're here, then it should be of interest to you. Um, <clears throat> And if you want to also learn about this setup that we're taking, the CCV setup, how me and many members have taken this setup and made money overnight from that setup, uh, then this is something that I teach to the contenders and champions, okay? I have taught that setup last week, so that is on the website. So if you want to actually understand the theory behind this, what you're looking for, how you, uh, you, know, how you get your targets, um, then that's, uh, yeah, across at chartchampions.com. And, uh, you know, you can sign up, watch the video, learn, educate, and empower yourself to make some money. So, um, you know, any questions, you can leave them down below. And, um, you know, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. hope you've enjoyed the technical analysis. hope I've given you some insights of why I was looking for these shorts, okay, how we can look at other markets for confluences. And again, once again, that, that monthly, absolutely insane. Um, you know, we're now coming down into this area of support. So let, let's keep our eye on the charts. Let's trade the charts, no biases. And, uh, you know, that's that's the way that we'll continue to make money daily. So hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you, everybody. Have a brilliant day and goodbye. Bye.